Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you what I got for my Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday haul. So stick around. So today I finally received my Vinegar Syndrome order that I placed during the Black Friday sale. And I wanted to take time today to um, unbox this and show you what all I got. Um, some of these titles I was not familiar with at all. And just strictly went by recommendation of some YouTubers out there that um, had done a video on what they would recommend people pick up. So those are the titles that I picked up, which I got quite a bit of them. So I'm just going to do a little, I think there's three little batches in here. Now I'm gonna to be totally honest with you, I have no idea about any of these movies. I'm not aware of any of them, except for maybe one title that I've seen. All of these other titles were strictly by recommendation. So I have no idea if it's, I don't even know what they're about pretty much. I did kind of glance over the descriptions of them. Um, okay, first up we have Commando Ninja. I really do like the way that they do their slip covers for Vinegar Syndrome. Um, this right here is an embossed title. Looks great. Seemed like it would be a pretty good movie. Here it is without the um, slip cover. Next up we have the Leather Boys. There with all the blue and embossed title. Here's the back. From what I can remember on this one, this was something that Shop Factory um, was participating in. I'm not really sure exactly what that was about. But the Leather Boys. And then we've got Shiva Baby. Really like the artwork on this one. And here's the back. No clue what these are about. But here's the um, the Blu-ray. Kind of strange looking. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be like. Now the other, this one here is one that someone had recommended. It's called Tix. And it's a slip box. I do like the artwork on this one. I've heard great things about this one. And then we pull this out. And we have a slip cover edition. Really like this slip cover. Very happy to have this one in the collection. Definitely someone recommended this one for me to pick up. It is a 4K release. So very nice. And the next one I'm going to show you is one that I've actually seen before and I enjoyed. And it is Summer of 84. Really like the um, box on this one. Let me pull it out. And we do have a slip cover kind of distressed um, embossed title I've seen this movie once I enjoyed it this is another 4k release so nice to have that one in the collection okay my next package here inside we have six more titles we have tough guys don't dance um, a lot of people were talking about this Ryan O'Neill movie. I think there's a particular phrase or something that said during the movie that people were making a big deal about. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, other than that, I didn't really hear many good things about this one. But I did want to go ahead and add it to the collection. And then one that I was really um, interested in is this one called Deadlock. Seemed pretty interesting. I guess maybe a Western type film. The artwork. And then we have one called Through the Fire. It's got a glossy slip. Not really sure. I guess it's supposed to look distressed along the edges. It does have an embossed title. And then we have one that's called Killer's Delight. With some embossing. I'm not very familiar with this one. And we have Death Promise. Really do like the slipcover on this one. Looks pretty interesting. 
And then we have one called Summer of Fear. I like this one with a slip. It's got Linda Blair in it. So this is a Wes Craven film. Very happy to have that one in the collection. And then we have one more set here. We've got this one here called Walking the Edge. And then we've got this one that I was really looking forward to getting called Sensor. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was originally going to be a 4K release, uh, but it ended up just being a Blu-ray release. It does have that slip box. And I'm trying to figure out what this is about. So we have Asunder and Beast Man. And we do have the sensor Blu-ray on the inside. Kind of confused. Uh, you know, like I say, I'm not very familiar with these things. Not really sure what this slipcover has to do with the movie, but I'm sure it has something to do with it. Um, but very nice to have that. I do like the artwork on the slipcover. And then we've got this movie called... Well, we got this set. The Ruby Ray Moore box set with the box. So it's the films of Rudy Ray Moore. I do remember this one having the option if people wanted to get just the box, because I believe they had already previously released the Blu-rays that are contained in the box. But if you didn't have the Blu-rays, you could actually get the Blu-rays with the box. And so that's the option that I chose because I did not have any of these in the collection. So there are four um, Blu-rays in here. And so we have Dolmite. And we have the Human Tornado. We have Petey Wheatstraw, the Devil's Son-in-Law. And we have Disco Godfather. So those are my pickups from the Black Friday sale from Vinegar Syndrome. I do have um, a few other Vinegar Syndrome titles in the collection. I may actually do a whole collection video of those titles um, here in the next few weeks. So be looking for that. Um, but yeah, please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these films you would recommend me checking out first. Um, as I said, there's only one of them that I was familiar with. And then Ticks, of course, I'm very happy to have that one in the collection because I've heard a lot of praises about that one. But other than those two, please let me know what you think about these other releases. And let me know what you think about my haul because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.